Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode four of a Need for Speed Pro Street, where in this episode, we get to decide where we want to go next, which I think, now that we've went up once, I guess we will go down once. Uh, we'll go ahead and head on to Chicago Airfield here. Another interesting track. We have a bunch of grip races and a drag race to do. And that means I have to decide what I want to use for cars. Um, we just have our three cars. Um, I might use these cars for one more thing. I'm not sure, actually. Um, I could change modes. I don't really want to change modes of them. But uh, we can create a new blueprint here. And... The good part is, is that I can go and find all of the parts, the performance parts, like this, that were installed with the preset that it came with, including stage 4 stuff, if the car had stage 4 stuff on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what would have been installed other than, oh, tires, okay. Uh, we got nitrous, yes, we do have nitrous. And we can go to body and do the... I like how the auto sculpt body kit like has different shading to it. I find that quite entertaining. I can't actually use any of the other body kits it seems. I mean I can, but I'd have to buy them. This is the one that we own, so I will go ahead and go with that. Get a bit of a splitter going on here, hell yeah. More air intake. And a little air intake up by the hood. Very cool. I usually just, like I said, go maximum on these. Because why not? Do a little bit of that. And the side skirts. It's going to make it go out. Yeah. It looks like it's two-tone, honestly. It's quite interesting. I don't think we just had a... No, this didn't have a spoiler. Uh... Did it have a roll cage? It did have a roll cage. We'll go ahead and install that, because why not? And racing seats, it did not have one. So now I get to decide... I could do forced induction, I guess. Um, I, I kind of want to upgrade this car a little bit, just because. So we got drivetrain, we got tires, right? Yeah. We got nitrous. I guess I could do some suspension to it. We'll do Bilstein suspension. And I guess I could do a stage one turbocharger. Let's go with a Pexi. Because why not? And we'll go ahead and paint this a different color. What else do we have in here? We have chrome paint, candy, and gloss. I think this were all in carbon actually. I kind of make it just matte black. Ooh, I actually kind of like that. Actually, you know what? Hold on. What about... Uh, since I did orangish on the RSX... Ooh, that is very blue. Yeah, let's do like a, a nice bluish color. Uh, you can paint stock wheels in this game, which is pretty cool. You can do a... <laughs> let's just plasti dip the rims. Oh, I only did the fronts. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Actually, uh, we could do... Black chrome, there we go. And, you know what, let's just do black window tint. So there we got our 240SX, somewhat upgraded. Nothing too crazy yet. Uh, and I think that will be all I will do to this. We're still making 155 horsepower, even though this is upgraded. Interesting. Uh, it should be okay enough to win this next one, I think. So we will go ahead and back out, and we will update the blueprint, and we will set it as the active blueprint, which we have to do to be able to use it in the races, or else it will just use the default one. And let's go ahead and do the same thing, I guess, to the Cobalt. It's kind of uh, aftermarket wheels. No, it did not. This Didn't this have different wheels on the front and the back? Maybe it does, actually. Hold on. Custom body wheels. All wheels. 
Yep, there we go. Has HREs. Hey, let's go. We'll go ahead and auto sculpt these. Can I do both wheels? No. So you have to remember what you're doing. We'll do a solid 40 for the first zone. Um, obviously got to have some deep dish. We'll do 50 on the front and we'll do, you know what? Let's do like 75 on the back. And then this is, for some reason you can like make them have less tread on the ground, which is odd. And then for the width, I'll go with like a solid 80 on the back. And we'll do, oh wait, nope. We'll do, we'll do 45 for the front. Yeah, that'll work. And I didn't want to make the wheels any smaller. Okay, now we're good on the 240. All right, Cobalt, what do you got here? I don't think it has any power upgrades. Drivetrain, nope. Force induction, oh, we do have a turbocharger actually, which is odd considering this is probably a supercharged car, not a turbocharged car. Oh, we actually have uh, suspension even, huh. Brakes don't really matter for drag cars, for I'd hope obvious reasons. And nitrous. Body. Um, this car did not have aftermarket wheels, but we can do the auto sculpt body kit, the stock auto sculpt. We'll do a little bit of that. We'll do a little bit of that. And I'll probably end up using this car as it is until uh, it starts losing. <laughs> probably? I don't know. We'll see. Do a little bit of that. And the skirt. Obviously, you gotta do something crazy here. I don't think this had a spoiler or anything. I don't remember. I don't think... Oh, it did... Oh, yeah, we, ha we can put on a uh, carbon fiber hood. I forgot about that. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? Uh, I don't think it has spoiler. Nope. You can do a drag spoiler, though, which is pretty cool, actually, if you ask me. I almost want to do it, but I don't want to spend the money on it. Because it's six grand. And, of course, these are all auto-sculpt, too. Once you uh, select them, you can auto-sculpt them. Uh, la, la, la. Does this have a roll cage? Nope. Is that racing seats? Nope. Okay, uh, I guess we'll call that good for that. Let's paint it. Metallic. You do metallic green. Matches the game. The theme of the game. And sure, window tint. Oh yeah, you can do dark or light. Forgot about that as well. Or pearl, apparently. Okay. Sure, we'll do dark. And that will be that. Do a dyno test on that. 265 horsepower. Nothing too crazy yet. Uh, but let us update this blueprint. And finally, go get started on this race series. So we're going to Chicago Airfield for various races. Let's go ahead and get this going. Yep, I will take the 240SX. I like how the winning... Why is the winning percentage 0%? Why is it zero races? I thought I used this in a race. Oh, it's probably because I used a different blueprint, actually. This one, I should have... No? Oh, yeah, no. It's only the RSX. Right. Yes, okay. Understandable. All right, let's get it going. Finally, after a while. No cutscenes this time around because we don't really have anything new to do. But let us go ahead and get started. We need to get 28,500 points to dominate, 14,300 to win. Let's see how this goes. Let's do... God, he's so loud. Um, let's do... You know what? I think... No, no, everything's the same in here, yeah. yeah. Let's do the grip class first, why not? I'll use the, the 240SX first. I'm sure we'll use the RSX at some point during this as well. Just because why not? But, our most powerful opponent in my class is a Civic with 191 horsepower. And we have a bunch of cars with a, like 600 plus horsepower behind us. The camo. Look at these teammates. I'm glad my controls are right, because uh, I did actually 
play this game with a wheel because I had set up my wheel. Oh, God damn it. Well, I knew it was going to happen at some point. Uh, but I had set up my wheel on my computer like a day or two ago and decided to uh, test this game out with it. And it's okay, but the reason I'm not using it now is uh, simply the fact that drag races seem to be uh, ten times harder with the wheel and I couldn't even win like the easiest drag races. So I decided to do just use controller because why not? I slowed down a little bit too much on that. The, the circuit racing is actually pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie, with a wheel. Go away, Civic. I have a turbocharger and I'll use it. Of course I wrecked this car. Good on me. But I was going to probably wreck it anyways, so... I'm not too worried about it. Oh, I should use my nitrous. Oh, I can use it now. Go! Yeah, it was okay. Not the greatest use of nitrous, but not the worst, probably. I should use it, like, up here, but oh well. <laughs> Make it around the corner. Oh god. Group B. Hello. Please just go around me. Don't hurt me. There is one more Group B car left behind. Big smoke cloud from the RSX there. Now I foresee a problem with this game and me playing through it is I'm going to want to use as many cards as I can, but it's very difficult to do so in this game. Uh, we'll see how that goes throughout the series, I guess. I'm actually not falling behind Group B, funny enough. The Group P people that passed me. Somebody went way off the track. Still not the greatest place to use that, but whatever. It's probably fine. Uh. Oh yeah, and to go on the wheel thing, uh, the other disappointment that I found with this game and using a wheel with it is that while it supports H-Shifter, uh, the clutch doesn't do anything in grip mode. It only does... you can clutch kick in drifting and you can just use it like normal in drag racing and that's it. Not that great, honestly, because I like my H-Shifters. Anyways, I won by 8 seconds, or 9 seconds, almost. 2,500 points for getting 27 seconds ahead. Track record broken. Alright, that is our first race down. Um, let's do a time attack. Let's do it with the RSX. I think this is the one I almost, or this is a style of race that I almost lost. Uh... Yeah, 205 horsepower, that sounds right for a supercharged cobalt. In the previous episode, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, the A86 with very, very different wheels on the front and back. And my RSX bringing up the back. This car has not been that great so far. We'll see if I can do better with it this time around, though. Hopefully I can. It does seem slower than the 240, though, funny enough like already slower and I only have one nitrous which does not help me much oh god damn it let's see how close I get to this 45 yeah, no. I am in second or third place. Son of a bitch. 
I just gotta use my nitrous at a good time here. Probably going up to the finish line, if I had to guess, would be the, the best place to use it at. Go, RSX! Oh god. 39, 40. Hey, there we go. I got the best time. Hopefully they don't pass me in this last lap. Oh! 8, 6, 8 it. I think that was actually the first place person, Felix Tang. I think. I don't know. Please don't hurt it. Uh, I think we're fine. There's a little bit of damage, but it's fine. I won't have to fix it if it doesn't say anything to me about damage. Go! 39, 40. Definitely not as fast as my second lap, but I won. That is what I care about. I'll take it. Top speed was 86 miles per hour. Not that fast, but also not driving a fast car. Hey, might have gotten a track record for that. Each showdown you complete, blah blah blah. And we have reached the winning mark. I got 5,000 cash for it. Let's do this one. I don't need repair, I mean I do need repair markers, but I want cash or parts. God damn it. All right, let's continue. Uh, yeah, let's do the, let's do the quarter mile drag. Why not? Let's race the Cobalt. Yeah, like, doing the burnouts on the wheel was goddamn near impossible, honestly. Oh, I don't have a clutch! I changed it! No! I forgot! Uh, gameplay, mode options, drag. Oh, I can't change it. Fuck. Well, maybe I can change it in the menu. I might have to just quit. Uh, yes. I forgot I have a clutch, but I don't have a clutch button. Um, I guess I could set a clutch button real quick, actually. What is LB? Oh, it is LB for the clutch. Okay. That's like... It's like Forza. Alright, let's try this again real quick. I didn't realize it would automatically set the clutch to LB. I guess we'll see if it works. I don't know. I probably should have. Oh, can you auto scope stock wheels in this game? I don't remember. I think it's probably fine. Just make the front ones wider, even. Max grip. Yep. Why am I in this view? There we go. I'm trying to figure out how to change views. Not working out very well. 1198. Quite possibly my fastest pass in this game yet, actually. Hmm, interesting. And I didn't even remember how to use a clutch. I forgot to use it twice. I'll get it by the end of this, probably. It's not a bad thing. It's not, like, bad feeling. Trying to press, uh... Or trying to shift and hit nitrous is the hardest part of drag racing because you have to use your right thumb for both god damn it I'm not used to having to use a clutch eleven seventy six even better yeah, I don't even know if I broke into the 11s in the last episode. I don't think I did. Not too shabby. Reaction time was 0.01. That's pretty good, if you ask me. I'm winning by quite a bit. I'll definitely have to pick up another drag racing car, but we can do that. For, like, the next episode. Probably. Bum, 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 bum. In incredible.
There we go. Eh, they cut roughly the same time. I also just smacked my microphone by accident. 0 0.03 on that reaction time. Damn. I went to 134. Everybody else was so much slower. Oh, that was my fastest time, though. 1174. Not too shabby. And probably another track record broken, if I had to guess. Yup. We are uh, down to two events left to go. Um, sure, let's do a time attack in a 240. Yes, I will race with a damage card, it's fine. Light damage doesn't really do much to your performance at all. Another A86 with different front and back wheels. And shift. Sucks that with manual transmission in this game, you have to shift at the very beginning of these time attack races. <laughs> to be fair, it's not like you're racing for like actual positions and being in front of people, but it is definitely you have to learn it to like be able to get a good launch, basically. I didn't take a thumbnail picture of the cobalt. God damn it. I mean, I guess I could take a picture of this car, actually. Back we go. Why is this car so much faster than the RSX? Maybe because it has more upgrades? I don't know. I think all the RSX has for, like, performance upgrades is the, uh, the turbocharger. I think. It's been a day or two since I've recorded, so I don't remember. Charger, please. Don't pin me against the wall. Oh, RSX, hello. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. It's fine, I guess. Carl Sanner. I was not set up for that turn. Neither was the RSX, apparently. Very nice. God, I'm winning by five seconds in this. This car is dummy quick compared to the RSX. Holy shit. And we got an A86 up in front. I haven't even used my nitrous yet. Oh, ABS, by the way. No ABS. Oh, I should have looked at my control options, actually. I think I have force feedback turned off. Because I do not feel any force feedback in this game. I'm using my nitrous. Fuck. Ow. Oh, my mirror, no. Oh, my front of my car is looking very sad. I do own the best time. God, I have a 101, and next best is a 110. Starter car, OP. Damn. I should make this thing into a drag car or something. I feel like that would be interesting. Drag race in the 240SX. Ah, ow. <laughs> Don't say yes after I crash, you asshole. What the hell? Make it. Oh, yes. That was actually pretty good. I don't mean nitrous left. Whack. Oh, I think I actually got a best lap on the last lap, too. Was it a 101.85? Very nice. Is that off of the screen? 10 seconds ahead. 7,700 points. And track record has been broken. And I've dominated. Very cool. Still have one race left to go, though. Um... Oh, stage two engine for the RSX. That works. We shall continue. And... Sure, let's do... This is the one I have to do. Let's do this with the RSX. Basically a straight up race. Uh, uh, I'm 
looking questionable. I'll probably be okay-ish, I hope. Hopefully be able to win this. Burnout. Oh lord, turn one is going to be a disaster. Okay, we're good. Oh, not for them. That sucks. Hmm. I might not win this. Have I won everything up to this point? I actually don't know. I think I have. No, we'll see. I might be okay. Judging by how slow the AI is going. Ugh! Bitch! Ow. Still don't have damage yet, surprisingly. Even though my body panels are probably a little scuffed. I'm gonna save my nitrous for the last lap, actually. Hello, Civic. I draft off. Oh! Bitch! Slowed down so early. Come on. Damn it. Oh god, the challenger's back. And this is why I'm saving my nitrous for the end of the race. So hopefully I can just zoom on past this car. Excuse me. God damn it. I have broken one of the Civic's brake lights. Nice. Hello. Definitely have to do some repairs after this, but that's fine, honestly. Okay. Gotta make sure I stay ahead somehow. Try and mirror drive a little bit here. Now just go! Hey. We got the dub with a very damaged car. Damn. Alright. Let us end this off finally. Got 1200 cash for it. I'll take the extra 1200. Alright. There we go. First, 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 first. And. We shall leave the race day. And I guess I'll use, because it keeps giving me markers for that. We'll go ahead and use those to repair the cars. If you choose not to repair the cars, they will show up in the garage too, uh, as damaged. And we've unlocked a few more events. Very cool. We'll get into those in the next episode. And there's not really much to show off in the garage, I guess. I got 25k. It's not too bad. Not too shabby. So you have a look at the career overview. I am 3% done with the game now. Each episode gets me 1% closer, it seems. But anyways, that will conclude this episode of Need for Speed Pro Street. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.